Hola! Time for you to learn how to use malware bytes. This is pretty fun stuff, people. Alright, so, first of all, you need to know what you're going to be using, which is the key to the universe, aka the ITA flash drive. There are three of them, and they look like that right there. Now you need to know where to find them. You can find them in drawer 1, which is all the way to the left of the ITA desk. There are three little stations, areas where people sit. Drawer number 1 is all the way on the left. Drawer number 2 is at the main place where people sit for the most part. I sit there most of the time, just to the right of that chair. And drawer number 3 is the second drawer on the left at the max station. Now, this is the most difficult part of this process. <laughs> Plugging in the flash drive. Alright, so that wasn't actually that hard. Which means that the rest of this is probably not going to be that hard. So, time to start the tutorial. Exit out of PowerPoint real quick. Alright, so I've got my flash drive plugged in already. I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to click LIS flash 2. The other two will say 1 and 3. This one is 2. I'm going to click PC tools. And then I'm going to click MBAM, which stands for Malware Bytes Anti Malware. Setup. Double click. And you guys can't see this, but it says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Yes, I do. I'm going to click English because I speak English. I'm going to click Next. Accept the terms. If you do not accept, then you can't use it. Next. And then click Next again and again and this little baby pops up because I've already installed malware about 13 times trying to get this video just right Click yes and I like the start menu folder for myself so I'm not gonna click that box click next I also like the desktop icon so I'm gonna click next install sorry that my phone just went off and you all had to hear it I'm going to disable the free trial of Malware Bytes Anti-Malware Pro because I don't need it. And update Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. Keep that checked because we don't keep an updated version on the flash drive because it's constantly updating. So we like to make sure that we update it as soon as it's done. It'll automatically do that. Click finish and then it'll pop up an update. Updating, updating, updating. Yes, we want that. I still speak English. Okay. Next. Once again, you have to accept. Click next. Click next again. Click next again. Again, I want the Start Menu folder, so I'm going to click Next. Again, I want the Desktop icon, so I'm going to click Next. And Install, and it will open up automatically as soon as it's done. Oh, I forgot that. I want to disable that. Finish. Now it'll open up. Now I'm going to exit out of that real quick. Checking for updates. And it should say updated in just a second. Not responding. Just give it a minute, it'll fix itself. There we go.
not responding. Okay, good to go now. I'm not sure why it said the not responding thing. Anyway, so now that it's updated, we need to run a scan, which is right here. I apologize. Click scan now. And this is going to take about 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording while it's doing that. So, as I said, I probably wouldn't have any viruses or malware or anything like that on here because I've already done this a few times, but as you can see from right over here, it's just about done. And I wanted to resume so you guys could see what would happen as soon as it was finished. Take it just another, probably about another minute at the most. There we go, finishing this little thing right here. Not responding. Hmm. Just give it a minute. It'll work. It's been doing this lately for some reason. Finished scanning. Completed successfully. No malicious items detected. But if I, it had detected any items, it would have shown you. That's not what we want. It would have shown. the items individually listed out what they are and the files that they were found in and then you could choose whatever action you wanted with them but the most common action you'll choose is quarantine all which is going to appear in the left the bottom left corner right here and you'll just click that and then everything will be quarantined and then you will restart the computer and as soon as it boots back up, everything should be gone, and it should be running much faster. And there you go, that's the end of Malwarebytes tutorial.